It's a picturesque little village. It's still pretty early and still pretty chilly, but we're making the hike. It's so pretty. Kyle has found a bakery ahead of time that hopefully serves good coffee. This is a cappuccino, and that is known as a pingado. Kyle has ordered a travesero. There's almonds inside. And egg cream. That's a climb. So we were in downtown Sintra. We got on the bus. Now we're on top of the hill at Parque de Peña. And our bus ride was over one hour to go about two kilometers the way the crow flies. So, fun, fun, fun. Once you made it past the front gate, there's a little bit more walking. And once you make it to the top of the hill, there's another line. It looks like a pretty cool place though. It comes off a bit like Disney World. Not a bad view. And in just under three hours, from the town center through the front door. This is where a person writes words with pen and ink. Forks to the left, spoon and knife to the right. This room also has things. This is the Arabic room. Now this room has a little bit more grandeur. Yes, this is the kitchen. There's the tower. There's the ocean. Far off in the distance. Over there is the Moorish castle. So that was Sintra, or as little as we saw. Um, my advice to you is, if you plan to come to Sintra and to do things as a tourist, just don't. Don't even bother. Okay, maybe in January or February in the dead of winter when there's no tourists, it might be worth it. But otherwise, with these lines, it's not worth it. She's green.